Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the pharmaceutical industry in the United States. And according to recent reports, the global pharmaceutical industry was valued at close to $1.2 billion. So from about 2010 to 2021, the US pharma industry has maintained a 40 to 50% share in global revenue. And the gap between emerging markets like India and the Middle East and the US has been reducing. In 2021, 15 of the top 50 pharmaceutical companies were US based. Johnson & Johnson continues to be the largest market share for the US for over four continuous years from 2018 to 2021. However, in 2022, Pfizer overtook J&J &J as the top performer. Now, a significant reason for this was Pfizer's vaccine during the COVID-19 pandemic. And from 2018 to 2022, everybody else outside the top 10 companies, they've gradually been reducing, falling from 30% of market share to only 8% of market share in 2022. And the US is expected to grow at an average annual rate of 5.74%. Now, the United States has been the single largest contributor to the global pharmaceutical sales. And the top five companies are Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson, AbV. Merck and Bristol Myers Squibb. Now, of course, what you would expect is their stock prices to be going up during the whole COVID-19 pandemic. In fact, Johnson & Johnson, as well as the other top performers, all have had tremendous years. And just like how we talked about the banking industry consolidating last week, there have been some pretty significant mergers in the pharmaceutical industry, like Celgene and Bristol Myers Squibb in 2019 for $74 billion. And then Pfizer having the lion's share of these mergers with Warner Lambert in 1999, Wythe in 2009, and Pharmacia in 2002. So what does all this mean to you? Well, what we can see is that the market is getting smaller. There's less players out there because there continues to be more and more mergers. And these companies are looking for more mergers because it helps them to combine the R&D spending and produce new pharmaceuticals. And of course, the stock market loves it, which shows that investors love it too, as their prices continue to grow. So where does that take the pharmaceutical industry? Well, you're gonna have to tune in again to find out next week where we're talking about more of what matters to you and your wallet. But before you go, drop us a comment down below. What do you think about the pharmaceutical industry? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Be sure to head to outlier.com, that's O-V-T-L-Y-R.com to see how Outlier is turning investor behavior into stock market success.